Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys? This is your love and life reading focused on the first half of February from the 1st all the way through the 15th. General reading as always guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from it whatever makes sense for you and release the rest. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. And I will also have a list of the card decks that are used for the reading Aquarius. So I've chosen three card decks for the focus messages this time around guys. So we're going to be using one spirit speaks by medium on a mission and then we'll grab some messages from the pining rose love oracle by calico moon and then we'll grab some additional messages from the guardian angel deck all right so let me set these guys aside first and then we'll focus on the one spirit speaks deck to see what it is that you need to focus on at this time aquarius all right so angels and spirit guides Please bring forward our first focus message for Aquarius and for those who will be celebrating birthdays in February. A very happy birthday, guys. I hope it is amazing and wonderful for you. All right, let's take a look. Our first focus message. Let's see. I'm guided to this one. Release. Okay, so there are certain things connections, experiences, negative baggage that you might still be holding onto that you need to let go of, Aquarius. And whatever it is that you need to release, perhaps you already know this or have been hesitant in doing so. So this is coming through that this is something that you need to focus on at this time so that you can release it and let it go once and for all. Okay, so let's add to this angels and spirit guides for Aquarius please bring forward an additional focus message for Aquarius for this love and life reading for the first half of February all right let's add to this guys let's see what else guided to this one nostalgia okay so you're feeling nostalgic about someone that you are more than likely in separation from. You miss them, you're still thinking about them, you might even still care and love them. And that could be reversed as well. And this is the person that you're focused on that they are feeling very nostalgic about the connection with you and or you're both feeling this way. Let's add to this one more. Sorrow, it makes you sad, you know, when you remember this person especially if you're focused on the good times and you're missing them and they're not with you and perhaps knowing especially that it just wasn't meant to be and you need to let it go and release it perhaps in your heart space that's what's making you really sad right now and just in that space of sorrow okay so let's add to this with a final focus message from the guardian angels for you Aquarius let's take a look angels and spirit guides for Aquarius please and heart shaped cards are so difficult to shuffle but they're a lot of fun too all right let's grab one from this deck patience okay patience is required at the moment you may feel that things are not moving as fast as you would like yet there is a lot going on energetically the current situation causing concern is evolving positively let go and have patience you will eventually realize that this whole event was in fact a blessing all is perfect as it is trust you are eternally loved and guided wow okay that's very interesting because we started off with that release card and it's telling you to let go and have patience interesting okay so let's continue Aquarius and let's take a look and see where the rest of this reading is going to take you let's start off with the mystic moon oracles all right so angels and spirit guides please for Aquarius what do we need to know in love and life for Aquarius first half of February all right here we go 
But yeah, you guys might still be feeling very nostalgic about how things were in the past. And even though it does bring up some good memories, it also makes you sad that things are more than likely in separation or you guys are at a distance at this time. Okay, we're starting off with cycles. So this is a cycle, Aquarius, that perhaps needs to come to completion or it needs to phase out. And perhaps that's why we're starting off with that release card and the patience card reiterating that you got to let go, but you got to have patience too with how this is all going to unfold in your life because you're being guided towards a different path at this time. But look at that. Okay, we have the return card. So what's making this really difficult perhaps for some of you is even though you know you got to let go, there's a part of you still that wants this person back. We've got divine timing coming through here. This is going to happen when it's meant to happen, if it's meant to happen. And perhaps that's why it's so crucial that the patience card is coming through here the way it did. We do have action coming through, followed by surrender. Isn't that interesting? So the action that needs to be taken here at this time, Aquarius, is that you got to let go. You got to surrender this. And if it comes back to you, then it's meant to be. It's meant to come back to you. But you're running on the universe's time frame here, not your own. So that's why you got to have that patience to see this through, to wait it out. Somebody is afraid. This could certainly be you, Aquarius, if you're afraid to allow this cycle to come to completion because you're still holding on to it somehow. But look at this. The answer is no. You're being guided towards a different path because perhaps this is not meant to be in your life forever. We have received. Received could certainly be communication from this person and or the way the cards are falling right next to each other, no, they haven't received any messages that you've sent, any texts, phone calls, emails, or even cards. And certainly that could be reversible as well. And it could have been them that sent you these things and maybe you didn't get them for whatever reason, or you're just not engaging or wanting to respond. That could be this person too not wanting to respond to you if you've sent them messages. There's a reason why the messages are coming through to let you know in the very limited amount of cards that I've pulled already, it's telling you to release, to surrender, to let go and have patience. You're being guided elsewhere and the answer is no. Regret is coming through next. So somebody definitely has regrets over how things ended between the two of you, or you both might be regretful over your own separate actions that created distance from each other. We do have a fresh start, okay? So perhaps part of the reason why you're being asked to have patience here is because there are certain cycles that need to come to completion, certain cycles of this connection that need to phase out, lessons that need to be learned, wisdom that needs to be gained, time that needs to pass in order for both of you to grow as individuals, learn whatever lessons needed to be learned as a result of what happened between the two of you, And if you make it through all of that and still are finding that you want this person to come back and they want you back and you guys are on the same page, then yeah, you guys can start over if that's ultimately what you're both wanting. We have self-worth. Falling right below surrender. Somebody had to let this connection 
go or needs to in order to work on their self-worth, their self-confidence, to be able to love themselves again, put their life back together. This could be you, Aquarius, certainly. But right now, there's that stuck energy. The inability to let go. Because those lessons have yet to be learned. Okay, that's what's coming through here. You guys are stuck right now. Let's take a look and see why that is. So let's add to this. With the Pining Rose Twin Flame Ascension Oracle by Calico Moon. And you do not have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. That's just the name of the card deck. So let's see what else is going on here, Aquarius. But you guys are stuck right now. So there's not a whole lot of movement going on here. Okay. Angels and spirit guides for Aquarius. What else do we need to know in love and life for Aquarius? Cycle, see? That's a second reference. This is not an accident, guys. Two different card decks. Cycles need to come to completion. Something needs to phase out. Something needs to be released. Something needs to be let go of here, Aquarius. The next card is Love Ignites. And perhaps this is what you're wanting, is to start over for that love to be reignited between the two of you. But it's falling right below the answer is no. And guide, because you're being guided onto a different path. We have autonomy coming through here. So this is a time for you to be independent, to do your own thing, to live your best life, surrender, release, let go of this for now. Because you can get yourself unstuck. You, can't, you just have to go your own way for now, I feel. Look at that present moment. You got to live in the now and not live in the past of the regrets, of the pain, the sorrow, remembering how things were before because it's just making you sad right now. We do have soul connection coming through next and it's falling right below fresh start and action. So yes, there's a chance that you guys can work on this, but I do feel it takes effort from both of you. You both need to want this. And look at this, we've got respond followed by forgive, interesting, and avoidance. So you're either avoiding this person, which is why, you know, with the received card and the answer is no, I feel somebody's tried to reach out and the other person hasn't responded, ignoring phone calls or texts. And the other person's just wanting a response and they're not getting it. So this is either you, Aquarius, or of course the other person that you're focused on for this reading. But yeah, you guys are stuck. There are lessons that need to be learned here. You need to go your own way for now. Focus on you. Work on yourself. Find and rediscover your self-worth, your value, your self-confidence. And if it's meant to come back to you, you don't have to do anything because it's it's yours we've got beginnings followed by honor yourself okay so yeah you can start over and part of this beginning is for now starting over on your own working on yourself and as this card states honor yourself for now this is a journey that you need to travel alone for now because there are certain cycles of this situation that need to phase out, come to completion, 
and if the desire to reconnect oops the desire to reconnect and work on this partnership is still there after you've both worked on yourselves then you'll know you'll know if it's worth the effort to even explore a second chance with your person Aquarius but right now it's telling you you got to let it go let it go for now okay so let's add some twin flame journey tarot to this this is by mystic moon and again you don't have to identify with a twin flame connection that's just the name of the card deck angels and spirit guides for Aquarius please what else do we need to know here what else do we need to know here for Aquarius what else do we need to know the six of pentacles is all about equality and here we are again with the image of the world here very similar to the cycles two cards coming through again okay with cycles now three it's definitely trying to tell you Aquarius that cycles need to phase out and come to completion and that six of pentacles too is again you guys both have to want this equally one person cannot want it more than the other there has to be an equal exchange of desire and energy between you and your person Aquarius because the six of pentacles is somebody who's very giving in nature somebody who's very generous this could be you and it is focused on earth energy so your person might be a Virgo a Capricorn Taurus they might be very giving and very generous to you of their time their energy their material goods whatever it is that you guys are exchanging but there has to be an equality between the two of you and I just feel here that part of the reason why you need to release this right now is because you guys are out of balance we also have the eight of swords coming through here that's air energy Libra Aquarius your very own vibration and Gemini so this could be you feeling imprisoned right now isolating yourself not wanting to talk not wanting to engage not wanting to be reached by this person and maybe they just want to hear from you they they want you to respond and if you are just doing your own thing right now that's a good thing and if you've already done the work if you've already surrendered if you have already released this connection let go of things that are no longer serving you and it's just weighing you down and if you are being patient and letting go and just waiting for things to come to fruition in your life that's a good thing but if you're not then there's work that you need to do here because this is a part of your own energy that eight of swords that's coming through you're not a victim in all this you can take control you can get rid of those chains that are tying you down to a situation that's no longer serving you and maybe it has been really difficult for you to let this person go or let certain aspects of your life go and allow these cycles to phase out but this is the time to do it it's coming through here for the third time it's telling you allow it to come to completion we've got more earth energy coming through here with the ton of pentacles the ultimate achievement card that's tapped into wealth and establishment so money matters might actually be really good for you right now so if you're being recognized for your efforts at work at your career your achievements at your job it could be tied into that money matters again finally on a stable footing and this is also about establishment wanting to establish yourself in your life and in your love life of course and if things were just not stable perhaps this is telling you to address that and create stability in your life
And it's interesting because tens, once again in tarot, it's all about completion. You have the death card coming through. So this is about something that needs to come to an end in order to welcome in a new beginning. There is a transition that you need to go through in your life, Aquarius. There's no other way around it. This is tied into Scorpio energy. So for some of you, your person could be a Scorpio. But yeah, it's endings and new beginnings. It's a transition that needs to happen. There are changes that need to happen here. You cannot live in the past of this nostalgic energy. You got to move beyond that because right now what this is telling us is the past is just making you sad. Remembering those times with this person, it's sorrowful. So this is telling us that something really painful happened between the two of you. And if you're reminiscing about the good times, it's still making you sad because right now that's all in the past. And you're wanting to manifest it here in the present and moving forward with this person in the future. But there's a lot that needs to be addressed here in order to make that happen. For now, you got to move on. That as well as a part of the energy of the death card. And even though a relationship has come to an end, I feel the love hasn't gone anywhere. And that's why you're struggling because the love is still there. And they might be in the same boat. They might be feeling the exact same way. We've got the Knight of Cups coming through here. So that is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a knight that comes in with a romantic gesture. This is a very romantic person, very charming. And it's so interesting how it's falling right below fresh start and action. So I feel here your person, Aquarius, could be coming in unexpectedly to either reconcile, reach out to you, for you guys to reconnect, to apologize if they need to, to do something possibly a little bit out of character for them, wanting to get things moving in the right direction in regards to this love connection. That's a, that's a potential for some of you, okay? We do have that beginnings card coming through here. We also have the Empress coming through. That is Divine Feminine Energy. A mother figure. So if you happen to be Divine Feminine, you might have children with this person. Or you certainly could have a family that you had outside of this connection. And you guys would have created a blended family if things would have worked out. But this is manifestation of growth. And here's your growth right here with that fresh start. So I feel my divine feminines are open to a second chance to get out of that stuck energy. But it is going to require some time here because there are certain aspects of this connection that really need to, it needs to go. The old way of how you guys interacted, that needs to stop because it wasn't working. It just wasn't working the way it was going. Okay, so let's add some romance angels to this Aquarius and let's see what else needs to come through here. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Aquarius. What else do we need to know at this time? In love and romance for Aquarius. Okay, we've got one flying. This card says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The heart wants what it wants. And if you still care for this person, if you still love this person, of course, it's okay for you to love who it is that you choose to love. But if there are certain elements to the connection that 
were weighing you guys down and it needs to be addressed. And it was creating problems and issues that needs to be addressed. If you're open to allowing this person to come back and they are open to that as well, then you guys can work on this and have a second chance at love. It is a soul connection, whether you identify with a soulmate bond or twin flame or however way you see it, it's coming through. We have children. Okay, so as I was mentioning, the empress could be a mother figure. So here are the children that are tied into the energy of that card. So I feel families were a part of this equation for some of you. We do have a wedding coming through here. So there are those of you who are in separation from someone that you were married to, your spouse. And perhaps that's why it's very difficult for you to let go because you guys had shared a lot of history together. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally, exactly, because they have their own free will, and so do you. All the more reason to have patience. Let go of what you need to, loosen the reins for now, work on yourself, honor yourself. And this person that you're focused on for this reading, Aquarius, they need to do the same. Use this time apart to work on your individual selves and whatever issues you each have so that you can grow and learn from those experiences and come back together having learned those lessons so that you guys don't repeat the patterns that brought you guys into separation to begin with. Okay, so let's add to this with some lovers oracle Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aquarius in love and life for the first half of February. What else do we need to know, please? Okay. Healing, yes. Balance and another reference to surrender. Okay. So what we have here, Aquarius, is a healing message Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Part of that light, I feel, is coming from this guide card. Okay, that light to me represents very healing energy. And it could represent the energy of the sun in tarot, which is a beautiful card. About happiness, fulfillment, illumination, growth. So welcome in that healing energy that's coming in for some of you guys. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Absolutely. And this is one of the lessons that you both need to learn. Because there has to be an equal exchange of energy between the two of you. You both need to want this as much as the other person. And there has to be compromise in the relationship in order to bring about this balance that's coming through here, the need for balance. And here we are, another reference to surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Another reference, Aquarius, telling you, you gotta surrender, you gotta let it go. And it's very similar in energy to the death card. You gotta allow something to end in order to welcome in a new beginning. Whether that new beginning is with this person and you guys have a chance to work on the partnership with a second chance or that new beginning is just a different path that comes in for you and you're able to find your independence and self-worth and honor yourself by finding happiness elsewhere. 
it's totally up to you how you allow this all to play itself out. And that's why I feel it's so crucial to let go of those control issues as this card states and just allow the situation to unfold naturally. Wow, okay, so let's add some dialogue to this, focusing on your person. Aquarius, this is the 5D Love Messages Oracle deck by Calico Moon. We'll grab a few messages from here, whichever one you resonate with. So this could, of course, be what you're wanting to say to this person. This could be what this individual wants to say to you. So take it for how it makes sense and resonates with you. I have feelings for someone else, but I can't stop thinking of you. And perhaps that's why there are those of you that are hearing from this person. They're calling you, texting you, whatever the case, but you're ignoring it and they're waiting for a response from you. But right now you're not wanting to do that because they're telling you, I have feelings for someone else, but I can't stop thinking of you. So it's not a very good situation to be hearing that from somebody if they want their cake and eat it too. They can't have it both ways. They have to decide what it is that they want. And if what they're wanting is you, then they cannot be attaching themselves to somebody else. Next message, I miss you. Absolutely, I know you do. And I feel they miss you as well. You're both feeling nostalgic about the connection, but there's just parts of it the relationship that need to cycle out. Next message. I never told you how I really felt. And maybe that's a part of their regrets. Because they held back from telling you what was truly in their heart. Next message. I have never loved anyone as much as I love you. This could be a part of your own realizations, Aquarius, or it could, of course, be your person telling you this. And if they never told you how they felt, this is something that maybe you never knew. But they're coming through telling you now, I've never loved anyone as much as I love you. Next message. I wasn't completely honest with you. Perhaps you already know this, and maybe that's what brought you guys into separation due to someone's dishonesty, telling lies, and they were untrustworthy. We'll grab a couple more. Look at this one. I still have more to learn from my karmic partner. So some of you guys are dealing with somebody that entered into a karmic partnership and they're still in it and they still have more lessons to learn. And until that happens, you got to take care of yourself, work on you, work on your lessons, let it go. It's mentioned quite a few times here in this reading to release, let go, let go. I miss the passion. Last one. Do you think about me too? And I just noticed the bottom of the deck. Look at that. We are meant to be together. Okay, so for those of you who truly are meant to be together and reconnect in time, that is certainly a potential. But there are those of you tuning in here and it's just not the right time. And that's why you need to have patience because as this card states, it is going to come down to divine timing here when it all plays itself out. So you got to have patience, Aquarius. There's no other way around it, you know. So if you're willing to stick this out in the meantime, work on yourself, let it go. And if it's meant to come back to you, it will. It will. Okay, so let's close this out, guys, with some final thoughts, messages from the angels. Angels and spirit guides for Aquarius, please. 
some final thoughts for Aquarius, please. Some final thoughts for Aquarius. Some messages from the angels to close this out. We've got this one. Angel Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. Perhaps this is something that you are gifted with, Aquarius, if you're able to resonate with that. Continue learning those lessons through these abilities. Bottom of the deck is Archangel Uriel. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. And I feel while this is going on, that's going to require some time for this healing to occur and come to completion. So this is a process that's just going to take some time. And that's why I feel, again, going back to the reference of having patience. Because this is a time for you guys to work on yourselves while you're not together. So you got to release it and let it go, even in the 5D. Feeling nostalgic and it's hurting you still. Let it go for now. For now. I feel like I'm guided to pull from the, the healing messages deck to close this out. So let's do that. Angels and spirit guides for Aquarius, please. Healing messages for Aquarius for the first half of February. Please bring it forward. Some healing messages. Healing messages for you, Aquarius. Intention. Freedom. Bottom of the deck is signs, okay? So the intention card for me is very much tied into the law of attraction, Aquarius. What it is that you intend to manifest in your life has to come from a place of positive energies within you so that what it is that you put out there energetically is what you will bring back to you. What it is that you focus on, what it is that you intend to happen will happen. So make sure you're coming from a place of wanting to manifest good things in your life rather than things that bring you down, things that break your heart, things that make you sad. Okay? Freedom. This is an additional reference to releasing things from your life that are tying you down. Let go of things that are holding you down and preventing progress in your life for now. Claim your freedom. Nothing is standing in your way. Okay? We also have signs that are coming through here for you. Pay attention to the signs that are trying to grab your attention at this time, Aquarius. These are signs that are specific only for you. You'll know what it is when it hits you. And I mean, it will hit you like a Mack truck. Okay, I often say that with signs because they're specific only for you. It's that light bulb moment that only you will understand what it is. It could be a specific number. It could be your person's name. It could be a particular message that you run across and it's something significant. It could be a place that you happen to stop by and it reminds you of something significant again that happened just for you and or this person. Pay attention to the signs, Aquarius, okay? All right, guys, so that's where I'm going to leave this reading. For those of you that resonated with this, I do hope that it helped you and offered you clarity. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below in the description box. And I will be back real soon, guys, with more readings for you. Thank you so much, Aquarius, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.